Um, uh, 80% of the population of the world is not believing in Islam. Do you ever doubt yourself that maybe I'm wrong? I'm just one of the 20%, maybe I'm wrong? No. Never? Never. No. No. Um, uh, could you understand that a lot of people would be very afraid of um, this kind of thinking? Could you understand that? Uh, I can understand that some people might be skeptical, mm -hmm. not might be afraid, because at the end of the day, uh, there is something called truth. There is something called right and wrong. Everyone agrees, for example, mm -hmm. yeah, that uh, lying, uh, cheating, uh, killing someone, murders, uh, stealing is bad. Mm -hmm. Do you doubt this? Well, um, uh, 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 that's another thing. I, uh, you, that, that doesn't mean that you uh, have all the truth. Because that's, uh, that's what I'm... Uh, you believe that you have all the truth. Isn't that right? <laughs> okay. okay you, you, again, see, you escaped from the answer. <laughs> Do you believe that at least there is something called the ultimate truth, at least in certain things? No, I'd actually, if you ask me personally, I don't think so. But that's, so, um, so, for example, for example stealing... Sometimes can be good. Yes, stealing can be good. Okay, this yeah. is fantastic. Some, sometimes it's some, there are some. <laughs> Internally, mm -hmm. I believe Islam is the light. Mm -hmm. And I wish everyone to share with me this light. Yes. People, Wh what's, people, what's wrong with this? People, um, oh. For everyone. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see whether this works. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it does. Yes. Eva Umar. I'm feeling extremely, extremely frustrated that at the table there, they're sitting four men discussing women's rights, discussing my rights, talking about me. What gives you the right to be superior to me? What gives you the right to refuse me on that table? I would really like to know that. Uh, why do you feel inferior to me? I don't feel inferior to you. You I just said no, that. No, <laughs> I feel frustrated that you are there discussing my rights and you think it's right that you talk about my rights without even asking how I feel about my rights. Well, well now the whole world is, a, is becoming a small village. Everyone is discussing the rights of others. Uh, many women have discussed our rights. So, but you're, really, a, you're a man uh, uh, talking uh, uh, about uh, women's really, rights uh, while you're I'm just really quite, you're just a man. Amazed. You're a human being just like I am. Uh, what makes you more <laughs> superior to me? I'm 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 really amazed the way you think. You should be confident of yourself. I am okay? confident. I haven't why, said. Why are you I not? I haven't said that. No? Why are you <laughs> not? Why are you not confident of yourself? And have why I don't said, you allow me to talk to you at that table with me? Have you I are said, not confident. Have I said? I am. Have I said that I am superior to you? Have you have said, I said that, this? Can, why can I not talk there? Well, see, you. Good evening. Maybe you would like to answer the question now. Uh huh. What is your question? Sorry. My question is <laughs> because you were you were just frustrated. You did not have have any question. What was your frustration about? My question about? is why you think you're superior to me, to, and not only to me, but to other women. How come? Who gives you the right? Where do you get the right to discuss women's right and not ask them what they're even discussing that women have? different rights than men. Have, uh, so you keep repeating this and I told you a uh, number of times that I have it where, where I said that I'm superior to you. No, but Mr. Ahadzad, you, you left well, the table. Well, so, Mr. Ahadzad, so first when, of you all, were, when you were confronted with things that you said, it turns out you've never really said anything because you, you phrase no, it slightly where, where, differently. Okay. What you say, no, maybe this time I can finish. Yeah, what you yeah. say, it, you, don't, you don't say women are inferior, you say women have different rights from different angles. Yeah. That's how you call it. Yes. The consequence, in your view, if you would have your way, if Sharia would be implemented the way you want it, the consequence would be that women are inferior. 
No. That you walk away from every no, single no, statement no, no, that you no, make. No, 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 You no. left the table said, this afternoon. No, I said, let, no, no, let him don't. answer, of course. No. Yeah. No. Let me answer. I said, in Islam, in certain circumstances, women have three more rights than men. Why don't you consider this? Am I escaping the answer? Some I said, I said clearly we don't that want women, more rights. That, we want the same rights. That, okay. that, 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 that there are certain aspects where women have more rights than men because, because there are differences between men and women. Tell me about them. The, about the differences? Tell me about the differences. This is one clear difference that you got frustrated very quickly. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah, wanted yeah. to ask you, but we got, we got this whole list of things you said and a few things that um, need to be addressed is that you are pro-stoning of women um, and no, no, you are no, pro... No, I don't know okay. if it's true. I, I'm just yeah. asking you. Yeah. I don't want to put words in your mouth. And that you think that female cir circumcision is acceptable. Those are things yeah. that maybe you can have because a lot of people are thinking that you said okay. that. Okay. Yeah. Is, are you, is that something that's allowed? within Islam, do you think that we can stone women and we can, uh, that you should circumcise little girls? Okay. Uh, now, again, for media, please put the full answer. Now, in terms of this uh, kind of punishment, it is applied for women and men. I haven't said that this kind of punishment should be applied on women only. But because, unfortunately, because of the inferiority, some women, they feel they think that anything we say is against them, okay? While we so, say so, so you say it's, it's for men and women? Yes. Stoning. Yeah. If the crime is committed by mm -hmm. a man, he should be stoned, okay, stoned to death once the uh, circumstances and conditions are met. But Mr. Say, al you can't no, be serious. You can't be, you, you, no, you're no, you, but you can't be serious. You're saying, I mean, you, you're saying that, that, that men and women can be stoned? Yeah, this is the Islamic punishment, yeah? But in we're living in the West. But, but, once, but, but, uh, once, once the conditions are met, yes. Once the conditions are met, but that's very, very cool. Uh, okay, I'll ask everyone a question. What about if this is the choice of the person himself? No one wants to be stoned. No one wants to be killed. You don't want to be stoned. You don't want to wear hijab. You don't want to become... Do you want to be stoned? Do, do you, you want, want to wear a hijab? Listen, listen. Do you okay. want to be stoned? See, this do is you not... want to wear a hijab? Give, answer me. Eh, eh. Will Just you, answer me. Will you allow me to answer? I'm waiting. Do you want to be stoned? Okay. Will you allow me to answer? I'm so, waiting. Okay. So can you please keep quiet until I answer? Of course. Yeah? Uh, if I committed the crime... If I committed adultery, I like to be stoned. And I can confirm, I can confirm to you, yeah? And you can put this, I am saying it openly. If I committed adultery, I would request to be stoned. And I can confirm. Well, I See, a, a, they a, a, go a, against a, even your values. I have you a, are contradicting yourself. I have somebody else from the audience who um, uh, wants to come in. Uh, thank you. Your, your name? Uh, my name is uh, Damon Golris. Uh, thank you for coming here. Uh, there are some people who think you are really uh, a charlatan. I think you're also brave too. I've listened to you uh, during your visit in, uh, in Holland and I've read uh, the Koran and uh, I can tell you according to the Koran, according also to your words, and you're not saying it in Beirut or in Kabul or in Riyadh or in Tehran, but you're saying it in London in the Al Islamia mosque in London that the punishment for the apostate, the punishment for who leaves uh, 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 the, the Islam is, uh, is capital punishment. That the blood of those people, like me, because I'm, uh, that, that blood is halal. I am your enemy because of three things. I have left Islam, my blood is halal. I'm an Iranian, I'm not Arab. What's your, this is your language. No. What are you talking about, man? It's rubbish. And your statement is, or your question is? No, no. Okay, okay. That's, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. My question is very simple. What do you think about me? 
Okay, and that's a very clear question. You left Islam, and what do you think? What do you oh, think okay. about? Okay, uh, I said that. I said that uh, apostasy, okay, deserves once the conditions are met, deserves capital punishment in an Islamic state. And I can say this uh, openly. I'm not uh, here to hide it. Okay, uh, this. In every single legal system, there is a capital punishment. Do you agree or not? No. No. And see, in Britain, uh, in many, just, j just a minute, please. One, one, one Let moment. Me just, I, I, I in can't many, in, you, in, in, in Britain, in many Western countries, in America, there is a capital punishment for treason. We, we, we in Britain, I am from Britain. We don't, we, don't have, we don't have capital punishment in Holland. Okay, but, maybe. But, but in Britain, as well as many European countries, there is something called the treason, and the, capital puni the punishment for treason is a capital punishment. In Britain, we have something called shoot to kill. Even if you suspect that the person so, so, is a threat, you will kill him. So, so Mr. Al-Azhar, just, so just, 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 uh, is it, is it, are you allowed to, uh, to convert a Christian to Islam? Uh, convert him? No. Okay, of course. How do you convert can a Christian, a Christian to become, Islam? Can a Christian become a Muslim? He can become a Muslim if he is, not follow, if he is following true Christianity, mm -hmm. he is a Muslim. Okay, that's uh, I, I, I can see your I can see what you mean, <laughs> but but um, we, but but um, but you uh, yeah, well, uh, so let, 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 let uh, me be. Just, uh, may I request something? Yeah, sure. I don't want. Sure. Okay. Could you could you could you be quiet, please? Yeah, please. Yeah. No, I don't want I don't want insult. We are we are here to discuss and debate. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. No yeah. personal uh, insult, and most importantly, please, no insult for my religion. Okay. No insult for God, yeah? No insult for my prophet. Otherwise, I cannot stay because this is an insult for my religion and I cannot tolerate this. Yes, I say, okay, he doesn't believe in my religion, it is up to him, mm -hmm. but he is not insulting me. Insulting my religion, uh, this is, I think, the, the, the basics for maybe fruitful discussion. Otherwise, it will be just yeah, we're trying to we, Exactly, we're trying to have a fruitful discussion. We well, I really wanted to ask you one question that I want, I want to ask every, almost every day. Is this the face of Islam? Stoning, capital punishment of ex-Muslims, female circumcision. Uh, one, uh, not long ago, uh, an imam in Morocco t asked me, where are the joyful Muslims? Where are the Muslims that show what they can contribute to society and what makes their religion so beautiful? And the only thing we are speaking about and the only thing that's been surrounding your visit to Holland is, is death. And is and is is like, is that what you yeah. think we we should? This is a very excellent point. You should not ask me this question. You should ask yourself this question, no. because I came here to speak about, for example, one of the things that I was expecting to be asked about about Islamic finance and how can Islamic finance contribute towards towards uh, the, the the recession that we are going through. But all of your points were about. These things. So I have, I have to respond. You, this is media. How media? Is this fair? How to just to focus on one single thing? Well, there's a very, there's a very easy, easy solution uh, to that. If you would distance yourself from the violation of the most basic human rights, uh, which is punishing people, for instance, for what they think. Uh, which is uh, the oppression of women, which is Jew hatred. I mean, you've denied making those statements about Jews, but today certified translators have looked at your sermon about Jews. You have, in fact, said uh, uh, that there is a, a war against Jews that is, you know, independent of time and place. You do make those statements. So if you want people to ask you about Islamic finance, the easiest thing for you to do is to completely distance yourself from horrendous statements like that. Uh. That's a good point, that's a good point, but I spoke about many other things. Why did you focus on these things and you took them out of context? Because, I was Because as long as people get killed for what they think, I don't really care about your Islamic finance. <laughs> yeah, that's why you, you have to say the same thing. You have to say the same thing about the Western democracy. 1.5 million people were killed in Iraq because of democracy. No. No.